Hi, I'm Miss Corinne and it's time for Tales. Our story today is A Firefly Named Torchy by Bernard Weber. Let's go to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time, there was a young firefly named Torchy. He was learning how to twinkle, except he wasn't very good at it. Every time Torchy tried to twinkle, all he could do was flash. Hey, turn off that light! Or blare. We're trying to sleep! He was so bright that he lit up the whole forest and woke up all the forest animals. Just twinkle, dear, his mother told him. Twinkle like all the other fireflies. I'm trying, Mom! He wanted so badly to twinkle like all the other fireflies, but he just couldn't. Finally, the wise old owl, who was used to being awake at night, said, Torchy, you say you wish you could be like everyone else, but the world is a very big place with lots of different kinds of animals and people. Maybe if you traveled around, you might find some different kinds of creatures and places, and it might make you feel better. Torchy was so frustrated with how much his flashing light bothered others that he took the old owl's advice. He flew off out of the forest very far until he came upon the city. Torchy had never seen anything like it. There were lights everywhere. Red lights, yellow lights, blue lights, green lights, big lights, flashing lights. It was so bright and colorful that Torchy could flash and blare and blink and no one even noticed. Torchy loved being able to flash as much as he wanted to. He loved how his bright light seemed like a part of the exciting city. But after a while, he began to miss the quiet forest and all his friends there. And he didn't know it, but all his friends in the forest missed him too. He left the city and traveled back the long way to the forest. Torchy understood now that his bright light was unique and special, and he didn't worry so much about bothering others. Now that he wasn't so worried, he found it easier to be a little dimmer when he wanted to, almost to twinkle. Hey, it's the bright firefly. It's been pretty boring around here without him. Thank you for coming to hear some stories. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until then,